Hey everyone, welcome back to All Things Art. Eric here, and welcome back to another installment of What's New? Where each month we feature new character releases in the form of an STL file. Every month we get new character models uh, in the form of an STL file. So basically an STL file, if you're new, is a uh, digital file extension that a sculptor will save the file as. This way us at home can now take that file and 3D print it. Uh, with that out of the way, I have some exciting news this month. Uh, we're doing another giveaway, this time sponsored by Super Shark. So the guys over at Super Shark reached out to me. They wanted to give back to the community and offer a free giveaway. Uh, I believe this time around, we're going to pick somewhere between three to five winners. You're going to receive a package featuring the Super Pets. Uh, we have four files. Uh, it's Comet, Streaky, uh, Crypto, and Beepo. Beepo is like the Super Monkey uh, Comet is the super horse, uh, Streaky is the cat, and everybody probably knows Crypto. Uh, Crypto is Superman's dog. So a really cool package that you could win. Uh, in order to win, all you need to do is be subscribed to this channel right here, All Things Art. Right by the, the title of the video, there should be a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps share the video. And then you just need to leave a comment down below saying that you would like to win the Super Pet Package. Uh, you can leave a comment saying, hello, uh, I'd like to win. Whatever comment you want to leave, just leave a comment because I'm going to pick three to five people down below in the comment section uh, to receive this package. So awesome. Thanks again to Super Shark for sponsoring this video and offering that welcome package. Really cool of them to give back to the community. Uh, also, like we do every month, I'm going to feature other groups. Uh, we have Wicked, uh, CA3D Studio, um, all the other you know usual guys that I feature every month. Um, I think I have some new groups to feature this month as well. So with that all out of the way, uh, let me show you what you're going to win real quick over on the computer screen, and then we'll get to what new characters were revealed this month. All right, so here's a look at Super Sharks uh, page. This is actually their Instagram. I just wanted to quickly go through their Instagram page. Uh, this way you can get a, a quick idea of all the models that they're working on. Uh, now and that they've worked on in the past. So we have some Superman files, um, Batman, uh, Deadpool. I featured this one last month, a uh, really cool file, uh, Deadpool Nuclear Winter. So that was a really cool one. Uh, I also featured their Wolverine last month. So you can click on that if you head on over to their Instagram, uh, Wolverine Frozen Hell, uh, really cool. So let me just scroll through a few more, uh, Cyclops, um, all different models, uh, Wonder Woman. So it's a new Patreon group. Uh, they just got started recently. So definitely go check them out and, uh, you know, support them. It's always good to support new groups that are, you know, putting out these files for us to print at home. Uh, here's a look at one of the files that you could actually win. So now this is a uh, Comet, the Super Horse. So there's a look at that. Uh, if you head on over to their Patreon page, uh, you look at the top banner, you can kind of see all the super pets right there. So Crypto, Comet, uh, Beepo, and Streaky, uh, a bunch of models that they worked on. Really cool banner uh, and really cool work. Um, you know, you can scroll through all of their stuff on Patreon. They keep you up to date on what they're working on, you know, progress photos and so forth. Uh, here's a Mr. Fantastic. We'll get to that later in the video. That's new for this month. Um, but yeah, if you head on over to their shop page, uh, there's a few of the characters on here. I think they need to update it a little bit more. Uh, here's a look at Crypto, uh, the super dog. Uh, so this is another one that you can win. And as you can see, guys, uh, right here, it's uh, you know, a, a $30 value uh, that you're getting for free. So it's four files each file is $30 uh was at 30 60 90 uh was at 120 so you're getting 120 dollars worth of files for free if you're selected i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna select three to five people to win uh so that was a look at crypto uh here's a look at comet again on the like the fortress of solitude base uh you got the colored render there and then you got the, the clay render so Again, guys, you can win uh, this welcome package for the Super Pets. Uh, really cool. I believe there's an image of them all together. Let me head back to their uh, Instagram page uh, because there's definitely more images on that one. But uh, oh, here they are. 
So here's a look at all of them together. So you can just see the, the image is a little bit blurry, so I apologize for that. But you can see Beepo is that monkey down there. And then we got the horse, the dog, and the cat. So it's looking really good. Here, this one might be bad. Here we go. This image is a lot clearer. So we get a look at Streaky over on the left there, the cat with uh, the Superman logo base with, um, you know, the Fortress of Solitude um, icicles sticking up looks really good. Uh, I really like the way Crypto looks down below there and then Beepo, uh, the monkey. So really cool welcome package that you could win for free. Just drop a comment down below. All right, with that out of the way, uh, let's get on to the rest of the groups and see what they've been working on this month. All right, so uh, the first file that we're actually going to look at this month was also by Super Shark. Uh, this is one of the newer models that they released this month. Uh, this is going to be Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. And I actually really like this one. I like the pose a lot on this. Uh, you don't really see too many uh, Mr. Fantastic pieces and uh, this one's just really great. So let's scroll through this real quick. Uh, I think I only have a few of the images. So uh, just from the side profile, again, you have that long, you know, elongated body. You can really see the stretch within him. So uh, I think it really pulls off the effect uh, representing the character really nicely. So uh, I definitely like this one a lot. This has been one of my favorites probably this month. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty more to look at, so let's keep going. Here he is from behind, so you can see he's very long and slender. Uh, really captures the character perfectly. Uh, here's a look at the base. He's uh, standing on top of some type of like weapon, and you got wires everywhere. Uh, moving along, it comes with two portraits. So you have an older uh, looking portrait, and then you have the, the younger looking portrait without the beard. Uh, let me scroll into this real quick just so you can see the portraits a little bit better since I didn't have a chance to do that yet. So here's a look at that older portrait and then the younger one. So it looks really great. Uh, let me zoom back just a second because I didn't zoom into these yet. Uh, so yeah, as far as like the sculpt goes, the sculpt looks really fantastic. I like uh, the textures that they put in the actual suit. It's kind of has like that rubbery look to it. And then you have uh, some nice, you know, black and white colored piping coming down the side there. Uh, looks really cool. I'm just going to go back a little bit because I forgot to zoom in. So I apologize for that. Uh, let's zoom into this a little bit just so we can see the, the details better. So here he is with that older portrait. Looks really great. And again, that pose is uh, pretty awesome. I'm really uh, liking this a lot. All right. So that was Mr. Fantastic. So let's scroll quickly right back through that again. Uh, the next model, this is going to be by Epic Prop. Uh, this is Mysterio. Uh, so like I mentioned every month, Epic Prop is working on uh, like an entire Spider-Man uh, universe of characters. So if you ever need any type of Spider-Man character, go visit Epic Prop because they're literally working on every single uh, you know, villain rogue from the Spider-Man line, as well as Spider-Man characters themselves, uh, all different versions of, uh, you know, Spider-Man and his suit and pretty much almost every villain. Uh, with this one, it looks good. The only issue I have with this one is I, I feel like the base is kind of low and it kind of makes him look a little bit small uh, with Mysterio. I kind of like when I see him kind of like hovered in the air and flying but uh, we'll scroll through this real quick. So he has uh, options for that dome portrait. Uh, you have this one where it's just all whited out. But um, overall, I think, uh, you know, the sculpt looks really good with the suit. Uh, the colors are definitely, you know, very vibrant on this piece, uh, you know, when you get it painted. So it has a nice pop to it. Uh, here he is with the arm reaching forward. So the, the pose itself is cool. I just kind of wish he had a different, I wish the concept was a little bit different to where he was a little bit higher up in the air. But um, I guess if you know, if you need a piece to uh, save space in your collection, uh, it's good to have different options. So this one doesn't look like it'll take up too much space. I really like this portrait right here. This is the one with the skull showing. This one's really cool. Uh, that would definitely be the one I would display. I really like that right there. Uh, let's move forward. Uh, he's got a little Easter egg on the bottom there that I just noticed. 
Looks like it says ASM 13, most likely the first appearance of Mysterio. And then uh, moving forward, again, you can see that, you know, pulled back view of the entire um, character. And again, it's, um, I don't know, it's okay. I just kind of wish the base had a little bit more height to it. It's kind of like onto the ground. I mean, I get he's, you know, he's robbing the bank. It's, you know, street level, but kind of wish he had a little bit more of like a hovering pose. All right, moving forward. Uh, this is the breakdown of Mysterio. So uh, like I always say, I love when the groups uh, provide this breakdown because it allows us to see uh, what parts make up the uh, actual model. This way we can figure out if it fits on our printer or you know how we got to go about printing. So each color represents a different part on how you would assemble this. So the base is in three different parts. You know, the pink is one part, the brown, the green. Those are all different parts. The cape is a separate part. The portraits are a separate part uh, and so on. Each color represents uh, a separate part that needs to be assembled before painting or after painting, however you're going about uh, doing your project. Uh, moving forward, uh, this was by, I think, who was this by? Panna, was it Zez or Panarel? Let me move forward a little bit. I can figure it out. This was Aphrodite. Uh, who was this by? Was this by Panna? No, this was by Zez, I think. Let me move forward just a little bit. See if it has the name on it. Uh, this one might've been out of place. Uh, who was that group? I think it was Zez, actually. Zez has been working on a lot of uh, Greek mythology pieces. I'm pretty sure this is Zez. I'll, I'll try to correct it on the, the video down below. I'll let you know who it is. I thought I had it written down, but I don't. But uh, it's Aphrodite. Uh, the group, I believe it's Zez, has been working on a lot of Greek mythology pieces. And I haven't been really showing too many of them, but I did want to show this one because I thought it was really beautiful. And uh, I think she looks really great. So let's just zoom into this real quick. I think the portrait looks really pretty. Uh, I love the flow of the hair. Uh, let me see if I have the uh, image from behind because I could really, yeah, there you go. Uh, the way that hair flows with the curls looks really awesome. Really like the way they did that. So that is Aphrodite, if you're interested in that one. And again, I apologize, I forget which group it is. I'll, I'll leave it in the, uh, you know, the, in the video somewhere on uh, which group that was. And here's the clay renders. If you wanna see how that looks, just uh, with the digital sculpt on the computer, looks really nice, really nice details. All right, moving forward. Um, this was, I showcased this last month for uh, what's new. Uh, it wasn't fully out yet. They just had uh, pretty much this teaser, the colored render. Uh, this is gonna be, nightfall batman so really cool piece uh we don't get to see too many uh you know statues of this character made so really fantastic looking so let's scroll through these uh here he is this is going to be a really tall piece he's on a tall base uh you know it's got the um uh, looks like a gargoyle but it's like actually like you know like the grim reaper style gargoyle which is interesting i've never seen that done before so i really like that or maybe like, you know, like a death angel. Uh, but you do have like the other gargoyles on the um, the lower section of the base. So we'll get into all that in a second. Let's zoom into this uh, real quick though. So the actual sculpt of this is really amazing. Um, who was this by Wicked or was this by Berserk? Uh, if it's DC, it's B3D Zerk. So uh, yeah, B3D Zerk and Wicked, it's, it's part of the Wicked team. They always do amazing sculpts when it comes to like, you know, sculpting the textures on metal. So the metal looks very realistic. The suit looks very realistic. So really cool looking. Let's scroll through these photos. Um, uh, the same thing with the, uh, the Wicked team, B3D Zerk. Uh, they always give you the option for a full figure, and then they also give you an option for a bust. So if you don't want to print the full figure, you can print the bust. Uh, as you can see, it says one-fourth scale. Again, that just means it's pre-supported in one-fourth scale, but you can print this in any size. You can print this in one-third scale if you want. You just got to add your own supports to it. Uh, so anytime you see one sixth or one fourth, that just means it's pre-supported. You can take the file, throw it right on the printer and hit the print button. Uh, if you want to change the scale, you got to just support the model yourself and add your own supports. 
to it. Uh, so yeah, the, the the leather textures on his face look really great. And again, they, they always do a fantastic job with uh, sculpting metal. Um, you got the lights on the bottom shining up. So uh, I'm assuming those probably don't work, but you could probably add like a little bit of a light up effect to those. That'd be pretty cool on the bottom of the base there. Uh, let's see, moving forward, uh, going back to the full figure. This is the back of uh, Nightfall Batman with the cape. Uh, I thought the cape was really fantastic on this. It actually looks like uh, a leather, you know, like a fabric cape when it's actually sculpted. So really fantastic job sculpting this cape uh, to make it actually look like it's fabric. And it's, it's, it's not. It's, you know, it's going to be resin or, you know, FDM, however you print it. So again, this is by B3D Zerk, uh, Nightfall Batman. Moving forward, uh, here's another look from the front. I believe this one comes with a few different portraits as well, so we'll get to that. But yeah, really cool suit and character design. Uh, here's a look at that base. So let's zoom into that. You got that, you know, Death Angel, some type of skeleton. Uh, different elements of, it might be smoke or clouds, probably smoke. Uh, you got bats flying out, uh, different types of gargoyles going all around the base. You know, you got that. Gotham architecture everywhere. So everything's looking really good. Really happy with this one. Again, this is another probably one of my favorites this month. Uh, here's a look at another portrait. So we got different options. Um, assuming you can add your own light up effect to this. I'm not sure if you can print that lens in clear resin or not. I, I, you would have to print the whole portrait in clear resin and then paint over it. Uh, if you want to do like a light up feature on there. Uh, here's another portrait. It's kind of got a little bit more of like an angry face. You see all the wrinkles in the cowl. All the, the leather textures are absolutely fantastic. Again, I love the way they, they sculpt their textures. Uh, so this one uh, is the Phantom. This was also by B3D Zerk. I had showcased this really quick last month, uh, but I never got around to showing the actual full statue. So again, uh, we have the Phantom here. Uh, really cool piece. I like the pose. Uh, I like the way they sculpted everything. You got the wolf on the base. I really like the way the base looks. So cool piece. I only have a few photos of this one. Uh, but anytime, if you ever want to see like more photos or you know check out their work, just on you know head on over to the Patreon groups. So you can check out more details on if you see anything you like. Uh, again, they give you the option for a bust. I actually really like the bust a lot too. Got some uh, really nice uh, textures within the uh, the suit there. Zoom into that real quick. Uh, the face sculpt looks really good. He's holding the two uh, nine millimeter pistols, guns. So really cool with the skull on the belt there. And then you got the same sub base uh, as the full figure. Uh, this one was uh, the Insane Clown, the Violator, comes from uh, the Spawn series. So last month uh, they did uh, a Spawn uh, himself, and then they had a different version of the Violator. Um, not too familiar with the characters, but he looked a little bit more creature-like. This one, you actually get the, uh, the clown version of it. So this one's <laughs> really creepy. Uh, he's... He's got his fingers going through, like, you know, the, the head of a, another character. So, really creepy looking. Let me zoom into this real quick. So, the sculpt is absolutely fantastic on this. Um, I think they call him the circus clown, the violator. So, really cool. He's got the, uh, the machete in the hand. Here's a look at the entire piece. Let's see what you're getting. So again, the sculpt is absolutely fantastic. He's got the, the big belly showing. Um, nice sculpt with the uh, the texture, with the veins and the hands. Looks really realistic. Got another look at that creepy face that he has his hand going through. <laughs> uh, he's got a little bit of like stubble on the chin with the hairs as well as his uh, eyebrows and all over. The hair strands look really nicely sculpted. So everything looks cool. We got the spikes on the shoulder. Circus circus sign in the background. Really nice sculpt on this one. Here it is from a side angle. So you got the chains wrapped around the base, uh, skeletons on the base. Uh, there's a lot going on with this. You got the Spawn logo over on the front there. Got some type of teddy bear hanging off to the side, <laughs> committing suicide, which is pretty creepy. 
uh, stops on. Yeah, just all different elements. There's a lot going on with this piece. Uh, here's another look at that base. The different skeletons like locked up with inside the, the base, which I thought is a really cool concept. Moving forward, here's a look at the back. Uh, the back is very simple. You get one little character in the back there, which is pretty funny. Um, looks like different worms are crawling out of the barrel. Another look at that teddy bear that's hanging off the side of the cliff. This thing is really crazy. Uh, the, yeah, the back is pretty simple, but you know you never see the back of a statue. So yeah. overall, it looks really cool. There's a lot, definitely a lot going on on the front of the statue. That's for sure. Uh, here's another look. They got a lot of pictures of this one, so I'm just going to scroll through real quick. All right, uh, this one was by who was this by? Wonder Girl. Uh, was this B3D Zerk also? Why is there nobody's putting the names on it? Okay, yeah, B3D Zerk. Uh, this one is Wonder Girl. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Donna, Donna something. I forget her full name. Uh, but yeah, we got a Wonder Girl model again. We don't get oh Donna Troy, right? I think it's yeah Donna Troy, Wonder Girl. Um, yeah, you don't get too many statues of this character, so it's cool to see one being made. Uh, I think it looks pretty good overall. So we'll zoom into these. Uh, here's the full uh, you know statue of what you're getting. Uh, it's a pretty tall base. It's this like rock style architectural you know some type of like roman type architecture that's fallen pretty common with wonder woman pieces she's always on some type of like roman structure that's collapsed um you get the wonder woman logo in the front oh i just hit the wrong button uh you get the it's the wonder woman logo i guess it's used for wonder girl also though uh but yeah she's uh branding the uh the shield there and also the sword. I don't think there's any switch outs for this one because uh, the face, you know, it's all one piece. So you only get one portrait on this one. But uh, overall, I think it's a good looking design. Here it is from the side. So it looks really good. I'm just going to go through this one real quick. Here she is from behind. Got some nice leather elements within the, uh, the costume. Hair is very nicely sculpted. Here it is from the other angle. So we'll just go through these real quick. Um, nice details within the shield. Got all those um, ornate design with the symbols going around. Looks really nice. Uh, here's a look at that portrait up close. Looks really good. She's got like a fierce, determined look on her face, but at the same time, she still looks very pretty. Uh, she's got some earrings, look really nice. Uh, the skin textures look really good this time. Uh, no complaints there. Uh, another look at that base. Oh, uh, so here. here, This is going back to the first the design for the base. Uh, if you didn't want to use this base, if you felt it was too busy, they give you an option for a more simple base. Uh, it's just, you know, some type of rock structure and that's it. You don't have all those, like, Roman, you know, elements to it. It's just a simple design if you wanted a simple base. So cool options that they give you. Uh, this one is by Wicked. Uh, again, I think I teased this last month. They were still working on it. This one is really impressive. Um, I know it says July, but it's like they, they announce things, but sometimes uh, things get backlogged and they don't get released until most recently. So this one is most recent. Uh, they did a Guardians of the Galaxy line. They're working on Gamora. They're working on Star-Lord. Uh, I just saw announced they're working on Groot, uh, as well as Rocket Raccoon. So really cool that we're getting some Guardians pieces. So uh, I really love the the base with the, the fluorescent green. Uh, I would definitely paint it up that way if I was painting this. Get some uh, fluorescent green. Do the same effect. I really, Yeah, that base looks really cool. Um, and then there, I'm going to show you something in a second. They actually give you the option to print just a weapon in full scale. We'll get to that in a minute because it's really insane. But yeah, I really love, uh, the, um, the costume design on this one. Uh, so with this one, oh, before I get, uh, before I say what I wanted to say, uh, so they actually give you the option to print her weapon in one-to-one -one scale. That means full scale. So, uh, if you go back. That's a pretty large weapon, 
in her hand at one six scale. So I can only imagine the, the fact that you have the option to print this at full scale, this thing would be massive. So um, if you're into like, you know, prop replicas, uh, this is perfect because you can print this out in full scale if your printer handles it. Uh, I'm not sure how many parts it comes in, but uh, yeah, they give, the, they give you the option to print this in full scale, one-to-one -one scale, either in resin or FDM. So uh, again, going through that, uh, also the sword. The sword, they give you the option to print the sword in one-to-one -one scale. So just imagine a long, I don't know, must be at least five feet, six feet long for the sword. So really crazy. Those are some large prints. So I feel like um, they've done one-to-one -one scale stuff in the past, but it's kind of been smaller stuff. They're getting really large with their full-scale stuff these days. So really impressive. Uh, but anyway, going back to Gamora, again, the, the suit looks really impressive. I really like this uh, design for her costume. Got the hood, uh, the green hair, the hair strands look really great. And then obviously the base. The base is really cool looking. Here she is again. So um, what I was originally going to say before the, uh, the giant prop uh, replica gun came up is uh, she only comes with one portrait, which I was surprised because Wicked usually gives you a lot of options for different portraits. And maybe they'll release another one down the line. They do that sometimes. They'll come back and, like, add something to uh, something that was already released. Uh, because I do like the portrait, but I do wish there was another portrait to where she was a little bit more just, like, calm and serious. Although this portrait does work well with the, you know, the fighting pose. But it would have been nice to have, like, a more calm, you know, prettier looking portrait. But uh, this one's definitely impressive by itself, so... Just watch. Uh, would have been nice to see one more portrait. That's all. Uh, yeah, and then moving forward again, you can see the you know the sculpt within the metal looks like real metal, and then again that face. The face looks really good. The teeth look absolutely fantastic. Uh, a lot of times on these models, the teeth aren't sculpted so good, and uh, the teeth here look really nice. Uh, moving forward again, different angles for Gamora. So Gamora is definitely, you know, a, a hit in my opinion. I th again, I think that's another great model for this month to print out if you're into Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, another massive one-to-one -one scale gun. Uh, I don't know if this was the same one, but this thing is huge. Yeah, this is it. Uh, this was it from uh, the rear view. So you really get to see uh, all the details of this weapon and it's it's massive. I can only imagine. I would love to see this get printed out. So um, hoping somebody in one of the groups prints this so I can get to see it. Uh, and then again, like I said, they're working on different characters from Guardians of the Galaxy. Here's going to be Star-Lord. Uh, this one's a really cool pose. Kind of, oh, the pictures are all over the place. All right. <laughs> uh, now we're going to a one-to-one -one scale um, Star-Lord helmet. Really cool looking. I can't believe they're doing this many one-to-one -one scale pieces. So again, um, the details look absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, it's a one-to-one -one scale, so it wouldn't be too hard to make it light up like that. Here it is from the front. So you can have, definitely do this as a light up. I would definitely make this light up and do the same way it looks right here with the paint and everything. It looks really cool. So again, that's a one-to-one -one scale prop replica of Star-Lord's helmet. If you wanted to print that out, head on over to Wicked. Again, here is another weapon, one-to-one -one scale. Up, up there, right? And that's how you can tell what scale it is. Up on the top left corner where it says one-to-one, -one, that means it's life-size. So this is going to be Star-Lord's weapon. So you can print Gamora's weapon. You can print Star-Lord's weapon. You can print Star-Lord's helmet. You can print Gamora's sword. Uh, this is going back to the full figure. Uh, I really like what they did with the overall concept. Uh, I like, like again, I always like their details with the textures. Everything's looking good. Uh, they give you a option for a switch out portrait if you didn't want him with, um, you know, that helmet. You can print the actual, you know, human version of him. Uh, personally, I would go with the helmet design. I think it just looks better. All right, moving forward. Here's a look at that base. Got that whole blast off effect with the different smoke plumes coming around. You got some type of creature on the bottom of the base. Uh, really nice base design. There's actually two creatures. No, there's a few. Actually, wow, there's a few creatures. All right. You got one creature up here, one creature to the right. There's two creatures on the bottom. They almost look like they're from uh, aliens or something. 
So really cool with the base design. I really like this one a lot. Again, another great model this month. Um, really impressed with uh, how many great models we had this month so far. Uh, all, all different angles of Star Lord. He's you know wielding the two weapons. So really cool looking. Here he is from the front. So really nice option again to print if you're into Star Lord. Uh, this was also by Wicked. Uh, this is going to be a teaser for what they're currently working on. Uh, the Wood, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine movie was uh, released not too long ago. So, you know, everybody's up on the hype of uh, the two characters. So you're probably going to see a lot of Deadpool and Wolverine characters coming out. And uh, Wicked's already on top of it. They're doing a diorama of Deadpool and Wolverine together. Uh, you even have that uh, funky looking dog <laughs> off to the side there. Uh, I'm not even sure what else is going on in this. I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of Easter eggs everywhere. But um, yeah, this was just a teaser. It's a work in progress. So um, stay tuned for next month. I'll feature this next month on uh, another What's New episode. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show that. And they're also working on, like I said, more Guardians characters. They're going to work on Groot as well as Rocket Raccoon. And again, this is going to be a Dio. Uh, looks very similar to what XM Studios did with this um, concept, where you have Rocket on top of Groot's shoulder. Um, that weapon he's holding, you know, the giant rocket gun, absolutely massive. That looks really cool. But uh, yeah, these look really impressive. I can't wait to see the actual clay renders of them. All right, this is going over to a new group. Uh, we're going to be featuring Zez here, Z-E-Z. -E uh, this is a work in progress. Uh, you know, it says Zez WIP. That stands for work in progress, meaning they're still working on it. But um, I wanted to show it because I think it looks really great so far. Uh, it's obviously Thanos uh, on his throne chair. Uh, this looks very similar to what Sideshow Collectibles did with their Thanos on throne, um, which sold out. It's hard to find. So the fact that we have something that we can 3D print is really uh, a cool option here he is from uh, a different angle. So it's very similar to the Sideshow Collectibles piece as far as Thanos goes. Uh, except this one, he's snapping the finger. Uh, the one on Sideshow Collectibles, he was just waving his finger like, come here. So uh, I do like that option that they changed that around. So there's another look at him, you know, snapping that finger. I think the, the portrait looks really good. Actually, I, I think I like the portrait better on this than I do uh, the Sideshow Collectibles piece. I think it looks really great. Uh, here's a look at the back of the chair. Again, it's very similar to what Sideshow did. It's pretty much almost the same exact concept, just changed very slightly. But yeah, looks like it'll take up less space than the Sideshow Collectibles one. That was a big piece. Um, actually used to own that one. It was really impressive. Uh, let's see, moving forward. So that was by Zez. Uh, this is also going to be another work in progress. Um, it's Spider-Man, you know, fighting off some tentacles, probably Dr. Octopus. Um, again, this looks very similar to what Sideshow Collectibles did with their Spider-Man and the, um, you know, the, that Dr. Octopus base. So let's just zoom into this real quick. But I do like the design. I do like the uh, the pose and everything. I think this one, they give you different options. So that's good. So here's a look at that base. And then I believe, yeah. All right. So this one, they give you an option for two different bases. If you didn't want to do that tentacle base, um, you have the option where he's fighting Hulk. Um, and in my opinion, that's the way to go. Because you don't see too many, you know, statues of Spider-Man fighting the Hulk. So... We'll zoom into this. I have a few pictures of this one. So you can see you have Hulk's hand, you know, massive character. You have Hulk on the floor. Spider-Man is stepping on his neck. Looks like, yep, yeah, that would be his neck. <laughs> um, here's another look at that tentacle base. And then here's another look at the Hulk base. So you have the option. It's the same Spider-Man um, character, but you can swap it out for whatever base you want. So if you want him on top of Hulk, you could do that. Or if you want them on top of those, um, you know, tentacles trying to attack them, you could do that also. And then there's one other option for another base, which I think I have pictures of. Yeah, here we go. So this is going to be a Venomized Hulk. 
So same thing. It's the same exact concept pose with Hulk, except this time they added uh, Venom elements to him to make him look like he was Venomized. So uh, if you can see down below, he's got like the Venom wrapped around him. Like it's taking over him. The symbiote is all wrapped around him, taking over Hulk's body. Um, personally, I don't really like this one. Uh, if I was going to do it, I would just do Spider-Man versus Hulk. I think that looks best. Here's a look at his face. So I think the the uh, the sculpt and the design looks really good. Um, but yeah, I like this one better. I like where it's just Spider-Man versus the Hulk. No Venom, no nothing. Uh, just very traditional. The two of them fighting against each other. So this one looks really cool. I love the way the you know the colors play off of each other. You have that red and blue against the green and purple. So this would be a really fun piece to print. So if you're interested in that one, you can head on over to Zez Studios. Here's a look at his face uh, from the ground. And again, up top you have the Zez. That's uh, the group that's working on this right now. And again, I think, that, like I said, this is a work in progress. So uh, it should get even better than what you're seeing now. Uh, they give you, for Spider-Man, the option for three different portraits, which is really cool. I like the fact that they did that. You have different... Um, you know, designs for the eyes, depending on which version of Spider-Man that you like. I kind of like the one where he's squinting a little bit, I think. The top left. I think the top left and the bottom are my, are my favorite. So different designs with the eyes that have been done over the years by different artists. So you get to represent different, you know, artist styles of the character. And uh, here's an, a look at the options for the base. So they're showing you, you know, you can print Hulk in different colors. You can print him into, uh, you know, the gray Hulk. You can have him as the venomized Hulk. And you could also print him, not print him, but paint him red. Uh, this way he looks like uh, General Ross. Whoop, wrong way. With the, uh, I don't know if it looks so much like Ross's uh, Hulk, but... You know, they're just letting you know, like, if you wanted to paint it red, you can paint them, you know, the Hulk different colors. Uh, I would probably go with the, the green, I think. Either the green or the gray. I definitely like the green. I like the way the colors uh, pop off of one another with the green. But you have, definitely have a lot of options. All right, so this one is a new group. Uh, this is the first time I'm featuring them on the channel. I'm always trying to, to discover new um sculpting groups new patreon groups this way i can introduce them to you guys watching at home uh a lot of the times the pictures aren't that great so sometimes i don't introduce new groups just because the pictures are very crappy um but i was able to follow I was, i've been following these guys for a few months now um i was finally able to find some good photos of their work and i wanted to feature them uh this is fandom f-a-n D-O-M, Fandom Collectibles, and they've been doing some really cool stuff, so I wanted to show it. I don't have, like, 10 photos of each character. We're just going to go through their portfolio real quick. I'm going to show you what kind of, like, what they've been working on. So uh, they have this Venom model. Really cool. I think this is a really cool-looking Venom. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one printed. So, um, you know, there must be a few people out there that are aware of this group. Uh, they give you different options for the portraits of Venom. So, you know, you have the, the Eddie, where it's almost like the unmasked portrait on the bottom there. Let me zoom into these real quick. So you got that portrait. You got that portrait. You got Eddie Brock on the bottom there. And then you have that portrait. I, I think each portrait looks fantastic. I would have a hard time choosing which one to use. Uh, I like them all which is usually rare. Usually I only like one portrait on Venom, you know, more than the other. In this case, I like all of these portraits. So really fantastic job by Fandom uh, Collectibles. Uh, here it is, the whole entire look at the entire piece with the base. Really cool looking piece. I like this a lot. It's probably, might be one of my favorite Venom pieces that I've seen. So really cool by Fandom. Uh, I believe, yeah, this was also by Fandom. Uh, it's getting a little bit more realistic and risque at the same time. This is Scarlet Witch. But uh, I thought the skin tones looked absolutely fantastic. Obviously, you know, that comes down to the paint. And um, 
If you're looking for realistic skin tones, I'm going to give myself a quick plug. Check out my uh, video tutorial on how to paint simple and realistic skin tones. I think you'll be very happy with it. It's very easy to follow along and uh, you'll get some fantastic results for painting skin tones. So check that out on my channel. But uh, yeah, she looks so realistic. I just wanted to show it. I don't know if it's just the color renders, but yeah, she looks great. Um, and then, yeah, simple, small base. Now we'll look at the costume. Uh, here she is from behind. So I'm just going to scroll up and down on her real quick. So yeah, if you're into this type of stuff, uh, you have uh, Scarlet Witch here. Uh, this one is by Fandom. I believe they just released a few more photos and I did upload them. Hopefully they are in order. <laughs> but as you see, it says work in progress, August. Um, again, Fandom's putting out some really cool stuff. So I might have to feature them each month um, moving forward. I really like what they're doing. Uh, I really like the flow of that cape. Uh, it has some nice veiny texture to it to make it look a little bit more like a bat. So it looks very like realistic and dark looking. Um, and yeah, this Batman is really cool looking. Kind of looks like almost like an Arkham style Batman a little bit. Uh, but let me see if I have all the photos to this. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So uh, we have Batman here. Uh, the pictures are a little bit blurry, but you can kind of see what's going on. He's got some tears and rips in the suit. You got some nice folds in the fabric. You know, everything looks on point. Looks like, you know, a well represented Batman suit. Nothing too crazy. Here it is from another perspective. Uh, you have the bats flying off of uh, the shoulder area. Um, there's a moon in the back. I'm assuming that's part of the statue. It's giving you some like forced perspective. More bats flying out throughout the cape. Uh, so the one thing about this piece is I thought it was very well balanced the way they added the bats, the moon. Um, it's It's got a really nice flow to it. Uh, and uh, the smoke coming off uh, the chimney stack on the bottom there of the base. It, it, I really like this a lot. This is a really good looking Batman statue. Here it is again. Let's take a look. He's got the, the grappling hook gun in his hand. Let's zoom into that portrait a little bit. He's got a very thick looking neck. Almost reminds me of like almost like a Jason Fabok style. Like, you know, the way he draws the neck very thick, but definitely not Jason Fabok's um, cowl design. So it's it's an interesting take. I don't know if I love the cowl design, but I do like the statue overall. All right, uh, moving forward. Uh, this is by Panarello. Uh, haven't featured them in a while. They've been a little bit slow with things. Uh, but this is Akuma from Street Fighter. So I thought this was really cool. I don't have a ton of photos of this one, but I just wanted to show it real quick. And I think I might have the clay renders or I just might have the colored renders, but I'm just gonna go through this one really quick. So if you're into Street Fighter, uh, here's an a, um, a Akuma, or I should say an Akuma uh, by Panarello. So if you're interested in this, head on over to Panarello STL. Look at the, it's like a bonsai tree in the back there okay i mean it's not my favorite akuma statue but uh i think it looks pretty good overall oh yeah i do have some grayscale renders okay so you can kind of see what's going on the skin textures look good you got some veins going through the muscles to make them look big uh the face sculpt looks pretty much on point for any akuma statue that i've seen in the past they all pretty much just look the same uh who was this by oh you know everything's so out of order today this might have been panarello too let me see Again, I apologize. I'll have to leave the, the name in the video as it uh, when I do the editing, I'll, I'll try to leave the name of the group. I don't like when they just put up the photo and they don't leave like their watermark, you know, their logo. It's always good to logo your pictures so we know where it's from. All right. But um, yeah, somebody's working on a Darth Vader. This was just a work in progress. I believe it should be Panarello. I usually when I upload the files, I upload them in order. Uh, so I believe this was Panarello. This is what they're working on. So stay tuned to next month. What's new? I'll have this featured on that video. So they're working on a Darth Vader. Uh, this one is going to be by Opium Clay Studios. We've been featuring them a lot. Um, they were We did a giveaway with them a few months ago. They were one of the first ones I think we did a giveaway with. So um, really cool group. Uh, really 
good group of guys over there, Opium Clay Studios. Uh, a newer Patreon group. Again, I'm trying to introduce newer groups uh, for you guys to discover out there. And um, yeah, this was a newer model that they're working on this month. I believe his name is Titus the Space Marine. Uh, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. I believe that it was uh, that's his name. Uh, last month's video, I kind of showed him. He was like a work in progress. Uh, I believe this is fully finished now. So here's how he's looking with the colored renders. So we'll just zoom into this real quick. I'm not sure how popular of a character this is. I remember last month there was um, you know a few people that were interested in this model. So just wanted to bring it back one more time. Here he is. Uh, I do like this option with the helmet. So that looks really cool. Really cool colors with the red, white, and blue. And then you have a really cool looking base with uh, you know some creature that you just slaughtered and some skulls on the bottom. Everything looks good. Here he is from behind. So really cool. I like it. No complaints here. Here he is one more time. So if you're interested in this, you can head on over to Opium Clay Studios on Patreon. So that's a look. I believe his name was Titus the Space Marine. Um, this one is going to be by Panarello. So we might be a little bit of a, out of order with these photos. So I think I already covered Panarello. Uh, Panarello is working on a Deadpool. I think I threw this in because I haven't featured Panarello in a while and I kind of just wanted to uh, get caught up on them. Uh, especially since it's a Deadpool model. You know, there's a lot of hype around Deadpool right now and I thought this one was kind of cool. Very simple pose, uh, very simple base. It's not going to take up much room. So here he is from the side. It's kind of got like this creepy artistic pose to it, which I like. I believe this is from, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is from a comic book cover. This looks very familiar, This, this that the way he's doing that pose. I, I remember seeing this somewhere. Uh, here it is with the, the grayscale render, so we can really see what's going on now with the sculpt. So you can see all the different textures within the suit. Uh, you got that gun, the gun looks really good, the katana blades. So it looks really nice. Here he is from the side. So really cool Deadpool model. If you're looking for another Deadpool to print out, he looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, this looks so familiar. I, I feel like this is from some type of comic book cover. I've seen this somewhere. Um, this one is going to be another group. We have a lot of new groups this month. Uh, this one is Nacho CG. And again, I've been following this group for a few months. And I've been kind of trying to keep an eye on them to see what they've been doing. Uh, this way I could collect some photos. Again, their photos aren't the greatest. Um, they get a little bit blurry. So... I haven't been really showcasing them because I don't want to really show you guys like blurry photos that you can't see. But at the same time, they're doing some really cool um, characters. So I wanted to at least give them a shout out um, and show what they're working on. So if you're interested, they're working on a lot of uh, Masters of the Universe right now. You know, He-Man and all of the characters, um, you know, Skeletor, Trapjaw, uh, Merman. So we're going to go through this real quick. Again, I saw, I'm sorry, the, the photos are blurry. This is how they upload them. Uh, I wish they had better quality photos, but um, the quality of the work looks like it's there. The photos are blurry, but the actual quality of the sculpt looks pretty good. So uh, we have this here. I believe that's Merman. I forget all their names. Uh, this character right here, again, from Masters of the Universe. This is all going to be by Nacho CG. Uh, we got this guy here. So you can see they're working on a, li a lot of different characters from Masters of the Universe. I just grabbed like one photo of each character. Uh, I believe this is Trapjaw. Yeah, this is Trapjaw. Makes sense because he's got a trapped looking jaw. <laughs> Sorry. It's been I'm a big He-Man fan. When I was younger, I just lost track of everybody's name. It's been 20 or 30 years since I followed He-Man. Um, I do like the, the design of this character, though. I think this one is my favorite out of the bunch. So, again, this is by Nacho CG, if you're interested in that. Uh, here is their He-Man. Looks really cool. I like that he looks very realistic. They didn't do, like, a cartoonish He-Man. They kind of made him look more real. Kind of almost looks like a, like a movie He-Man. 
um, and then you have that base down there. So really cool looking. Maybe we'll get some better photos in the future and I'll feature those. Uh, again, another He-Man character. Two He-Man characters, I should say. You got the little dude on the bottom of the base there. What was his name? Like Oracle or something like that. Or, or, or something. I think it was Oracle or something like that. I forget all their names. I only remember He-Man and Skeletor. Here's Skeletor. Again, has, he's got a little bit more of like a realistic take on him. Doesn't look like very too cartoonish. And then, uh, you know, you have the snake base. So photos are a little blurry, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. This one looks a little bit clearer. This is also by Nacho CG. So they're working on this Iron Man. It's got the, uh, the Ultron base. The different robots. So um, there's not too many options out there for a classic suit Iron Man. Uh, it happens to be one of my favorite suits. Um, you know, if I actually have a... Uh, Get who made that one i think it's by it's not bowen I forget who made this one i do have a classic iron man that i just purchased a few months ago it's one of my favorite suits for iron man so i always appreciate when i see somebody doing a classic iron man so quick look at that again the photos aren't the greatest but it looks good i, I like it uh also by nacho cg they're working on this dio over here uh, i believe her name is evil lynn I'm trying to catch up with all these names so we have skeletor i'm pretty sure that's evil lynn skeletor and evil lynn on the battle cat hopefully that's the name i think i, I know he man is battle cat i think i don't know what skeletor is called is it also battle cat i don't know but uh another option for there I, I like the way skeletor looks i don't know if i love the way evil lynn's face looks it's hard to tell because again the picture is a little bit blurry uh, but yeah, you could also have the option for uh, Skeletor by himself. All right, so these photos are a little bit blurry. Let's get out of this. But uh, I believe this was like a work in progress for Nacho CG. So um, again, stay tuned to next month. We'll feature more of this. I'll, tr I'll try to reach out to them, see if I can get some better photos from them. Um, and yeah, that was it. We're back to uh, Fantastic Four. So there wasn't like a ton of models this month, but I think the quality of the characters and the sculpts this month were really fantastic. I think we had a lot of great uh, options to choose from for 3D printing this month. And I was really happy to feature a few new groups. I think I featured uh, three new groups this month. Uh, we had Nacho, uh, what were the other ones? I would have to go back and look, I forget their names. They're still new to me. Uh, but yeah, that last one was Nacho CG. They were a newer group. Um, get the name of the other ones i apologize guys it's been a long day but uh yeah i'll leave uh the links to all the patreon groups to where you can find them in the uh the video description uh if you go down below the video where the video title is there's a more button uh just click on the more button and i always leave links to my social media pages on how you can contact me uh if you ever need something 3d printed or painted you can reach out to me and then i leave links to all of these patreon groups so you can go visit their pages check out the work yourself uh consider you know supporting them and becoming a member to their groups so uh yeah it's been a lot of fun this month again happy to introduce new groups i'm hoping to find new groups if you're watching this and you have a patreon group and you're a sculptor feel free to reach out to me i would love to feature your work on this channel right here all things art uh we just had the fifty thousand subscriber giveaway from uh wicked uh, B3D Zerk and the Star Wars 3D modeling. So definitely go check out that video. It's uh, it's free. Uh, we're also doing the free giveaway right here uh, with um, Super Shark. So Super Shark's providing us with that giveaway of the Super Pet welcome package. So definitely, um, you know, leave a comment down below if you're interested in winning that giveaway. I'm going to pick, like I said, three to five people. Uh, all you need to do is be subscribed to this channel. Uh, give the video a thumbs up because it helps promote it. Uh, and then just leave a comment if you want to win that STL package of the Super Pets. It's free. Um, if I choose you, I'm going to choose three to five people. And I'll send you the download link to the entire welcome package. Free. You just click on it, download it, and the files are yours. So thanks for watching today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed all of the models this month. Uh, stay tuned till next month. I'll feature new characters again and stay tuned. I have more 
uh, video, you know, tutorials on, you know, how to paint and different projects that I've been working on and a lot of other cool things, a lot of other giveaways coming very soon. Um, the channel is growing very rapidly. Like I said, we just passed 50,000 on the road to 100K and I've partnered up with a lot of cool different, you know, groups, companies and brands uh, to bring you guys some really cool giveaways. So like I said, drop a comment down below if you're interested in the Super Shark giveaway and I'll see you soon. Take care.